Hello, and welcome to my kitchen floor. I always tend to wear this shirt when I sit on the floor. It's definitely planned. It's not planned. Let me just explain what I'm doing for a second. Basically, I've wanted a monstera plant ever since I moved into my own apartment. I love them. They're also called the Swiss cheese plant. I think they're so special looking and they're very like rainforesty. My original idea when I first moved into my apartment was I really wanted my apartment to look like a botanist's apartment. And so I bought as many houseplants as possible, but this is the one I've always wanted and I finally found a way to get them. I bought this plant on Amazon. I bought it online. It came in a box into my house. I'll show you the footage of me unpacking it. Hello? <laughs> Hi. Wow. Wow. She's suffocating. I know. Hello. <laughs> Maybe you could just leave it. You know, she's kind of dusty. No, just, I'll just let it breathe. You do your thing, babe. Wild, right? So crazy. But here he is. He's beautiful and he has Swiss cheese leaves and I love him so much. I also bought this pot for him. Something they do not tell you when you become an adult is that pot plants, plant pots, pot plants? I don't smoke. Plants. Plants for your pots are very, very expensive. Being a kid, you just use some of the pots that your family has collected over the years because like everyone kind of has like a few plant pots here and there, but they're really expensive. If you want like a good ceramic plant pot that's actually gonna last, because terracotta just breaks in like a couple months. Anyways, this is the pot that I got. I love it so much. It's very mid-century modern and it also came in a box through Etsy. Support small businesses. But I wanted to repot him because I want him to be gigantic. I want him to be the largest Swiss cheese plant ever of all time. And I know that I need to repot him if I want him to be healthy and happy. I have no clue why I'm filming this. I just thought that I would. I have literally no plans for this video. I have no idea what I'm gonna talk about. I'm really just gonna ramble. So if you don't wanna hear me talk, then don't watch this video because that's basically all I'm gonna do other than put this into this pot with this dirt. This video is specifically for my beautiful amount of viewers who just like to hear talking in the background of their lives. You know, cause sometimes when I'm like studying, I just want to hear noise. That's why I always go to like cafes. I'm explaining this too much. Let's plant this pot. Here's my dirt. First things first, we gotta get some dirt in this. This pot is so cute and I love it so much. Okay, dude. I also bought this bag of mulch on Amazon. You can buy so many strange things on Amazon. You can buy live ladybugs. You can buy plants that are living and come in boxes with styrofoam. Anyways, I feel so bad for the Amazon man who had to bring this up my stairs. First cat. There you go. I'm actually so excited about this though. It's stupid how excited I am. I really freaking love houseplants and every time I get a new one, I feel like my apartment just gets happier and happier. A lot of you guys always comment that you kill your plants. I don't really know what I do that is any different than other people's houseplants. I think a big problem with people is overwatering and just forgetting to water. When you first get a plant, you're like, oh my God, it's so adorable. I'm gonna attend to it all the time but then you overwater and it just immediately dies. If you water your plant every single day and it's like in a big pot with like not proper draining, it's gonna die because the roots get all mucked up and they can't breathe and they're just, it's just gonna die. That's just what's gonna happen. Especially if you have succulents. Do not water your succulents every day. They're all gonna die. <laughs> Unless there's like incredible drainage in that dirt. I water my plants like once a week and I don't water them too much. Depends what plant though, because some plants can survive in like 100% water. Like this plant, for example, is literally just in water. That's a pothos. Pothos are super easy to take care of and they're really cute and they get gigantic because I have another one in my main room. I'm doing this in my kitchen because I know it's gonna get super dirty when I try to actually get that into here. And my kitchen has hardwood floors, which is nice, so I can just sweep it all up when it's done. I'm all over the place. That is enough dirt at the bottom, I think. Let's check. Get off me, bro. Huh, what? Oh, no, not at all. What the heck? Gee whiz, this pot is so much larger than I expected. He's gonna live forever. Today I'm going to Six Flags Magic Mountain. I'm so freaking excited. Last week I went to Universal Studios <laughs> with Jesse and my friend Maggie, and I finally got to see Harry Potter World. It was the best thing ever, but I'm still really craving going on like a really extreme roller coaster, and Universal doesn't really have like anything that crazy. So I'm going to Six Flags today after this video is filmed and after 
Maggie gets out of class. <laughs> I loved Harry Potter so much growing up. I've actually only read four of the books and that probably really surprises you. It wasn't my decision to only read four of the books. I was raised extremely religiously and my parents did not let me read them. So I'd have to read them in secret. I'd like be able to get to like three or four without them finding out. So they take them away. Basically, if you're extremely religious, your parents get really mad at you if you read books about witchcraft. But I love Harry Potter so much and I didn't deserve that. It ruined my childhood. I forgive my parents for not letting me read Harry Potter, but at least I got to read four of them and I love them so much. I think all of y'all expect me to be a Hufflepuff, but I am not a Hufflepuff. I'm really hurt by everyone thinking that I'm a Hufflepuff. No offense to Hufflepuffs, they're very cute and sweet, and their main trait is loyalty, which is like a great trait to have. But I am a Gryffindor. In fact, I'm not even just a Gryffindor. I'm actually exactly like Harry Potter. I've taken the test three times, and I've gotten Gryffindor two times, but I've actually gotten Slytherin the other time. And I think that surprises a lot of people, but ambition is absolutely one of the biggest things in my life. If I didn't have ambition, I wouldn't have done anything. I would have just stayed in my hometown and got married and had 45 kids. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that though. We love children. Let's see, are you full enough now? Ah, uh, yes, you are. Oh, Harry Potter World was so magical, just as magical as I expected it to be. I think if I were a wizard, I would totally be a mudblood. I kind of feel like a mudblood in like my talents sense. None of my family is musical, none of my family is artistic. They're all very like science and math and I'm just, the kid who does everything and whenever like I'm in meetings and stuff people ask me like oh how'd you get in music like are your parents musicians or something because that's like a pretty common thing apparently but I'm like no I come from a family of managers and consultants and I'm just the weird one so Hermione I get you. Mudblood should not be an insult. Freaking Draco, big head, mouth away. Okay, we're gonna actually try to tip this boy into here now. Don't know how I'm gonna do this. Hello? <laughs> um, uh, okay. Okay, you know what? First we're gonna squish the pot that way it gets disconnected from the sides. Oh yeah, my nail. Look at my nail. Can you see my nail? I only have my thumb painted right now because I was really excited because I was at a store and I saw mood changing nail polish and I was like, that's crazy. That can't be real. And turns out it's not that real. It really only changes color if your thumb is like really hot, like if it's like on fire or something. But other than that, it's normally just this color. In fact, let me check. I'm gonna show y'all how hot your thumb has to get for this to actually change colors. So this is my thumb right now. Ow. Can you see that tiny speck in the corner that's like slightly more turquoise? That's it. That's literally it. You let me down. What were we doing again? Oh yeah, we were squishing. Truly have no idea how I'm gonna do this. Please don't die as I'm trying to transfer you because that would break my freaking heart. Yes, yes, that worked so well. You sit in there. God bless. I'm so glad that actually worked. I was so scared. And now I'm gonna just like loosen the dirt around him. He's kind of suffocating. Is he kind of lopsided? Is that just me? I've been a very busy boy. School is in full swing. It is midterms week, so like me and all my friends are constantly in cafes and doing stuff. I packed. This is a random side note. I think my love for planting things grew very largely by my favorite book of all time, which is the book Because of Wind Dixie. I love that book so much. I related to it so much growing up. And one of the characters in it, Miss Gloria Dump, she is a gardener and she's very good at it and whenever she's having bad thoughts she just plants some plants and then before she knew it she was surrounded by plants and i relate a lot to that i really love planting and i love taking care of them it's like a fun process for me i really miss having a yard i think if i ever lived in a house i would totally be one of those people who like takes way too good care of their garden i would have all the plants but I don't know if I'll ever be able to afford having a house in LA. <laughs> Houses are for the rich and everything else is for the rest of the world. I've been having a lot of fun in school lately. I really feel so much like a college student. I wake up in the morning and I go to a cafe and I work and then I eat with my friends and then we all go together and we work and we work and we work and we work and, we work and it's like, it's just so much fun. I feel so lucky to be able to have like the best of both worlds. I get to be like a normal college student, but at the same time I get to do incredible things that most people my age don't really get to do. When I'm feeling sick of the industry, I just go back to being a college student. When I'm getting sick of being a college student, I just go back to working. <laughs>
Apparently, this plant creates fruit, and the fruit tastes like pineapple. That's news to me. I doubt it'll ever fruit while it's living in my apartment, though, because that's kind of crazy. I think it'd have to be, like, gigantic. <laughs> I think we're all done here. Let's go bring him over to the spot in my room that is made for him. Here we come. Let's see, guys. I believe we're all done here. Here's my new plant. It's time for the obligatory first water. There you go. That is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed watching me plant my plant and talk about seven million different topics. I feel really good. The more I live in this apartment, the better I feel in it. And the more I live in the city, the better I feel in the city. And the more time I spend with my friends, the happier I feel. I'm actually really, really happy right now. And I feel happier than I've been in a very long time. So yay, I have one painted thumb. With that, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it gave you good noise while you're studying. And I'll see you in a couple days with a brand new video. God bless and goodbye. Bye. To the other side. Ah, ah.